In the year 2003, a patent was assigned to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services regarding the medical property of cannabinoids. And cannabinoids are the main chemical components in the marijuana plant. The patent was titled Cannabinoids as Antioxidants and Neuroprotectants. The most common examples of cannabinoids are THC and CBD, though scientists have been able to identify at least 85 different cannabinoids in the plant. The abstract of the patent starts off with cannabinoids as antioxidants and shows that they are useful in treating and preventing oxidation associated diseases such as ischemic, age related, inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. Ischemia is the restriction of blood supply to tissues or organs and autoimmune diseases are those where the body's own immune system destroys healthy body tissue by mistake. The patent then continues with cannabinoids as neuroprotectants and shows that they limit neurological damage following ischemic insults such as stroke or trauma and they are also useful in the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and HIV dementia. The fact that a branch of the U.S. government owns this patent leads to a very important question. How can a branch of the U.S. government own a patent on the medical properties of cannabinoids while another branch classifies marijuana as a Schedule I drug? And remember that Schedule I drugs are supposed to have no medical value. This contradiction makes even less sense considering that the branch that owns the patent is focused on health, while the branch that classifies it as a Schedule I drug, the DEA, is focused on drug enforcement. So the main question is how can such a blatant contradiction between two branches of government even exist? 